Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal, and tomorrow we're finally going to the beach. Now that Futaba's ready to go, but that's not here yet, and it's Sunday. <laughs> Come on, do I even need to say it? We're visiting Miss Smoothie Girl. We really should get her name, Coley Crud. Hi, Hi, drink vendor. May I have one of your drinks? <laughs> yes, thank you so much. This is seriously so nasty. It's bath water. She must think we're weird we ordered this. <laughs> I mean, she's the one selling it. Whatever, but now that that's taken care of, it's time to actually pay for said drink by working at the airsoft shop. Hey, EY. How you doing? Summer's almost over. Everyone has a secret they don't want anyone to know. I barely use a PC. Because if I did, I'd be in trouble if I got hacked. So... What do you want? Well, that's suspicious. Let's just work and ignore it. I need you to handle some chores around the place today. No getting out of it. It's also something I want to talk about. Got time? Uh, sure thing, boss. Hopefully it's not another mission. Get to work, you little gun nerd. I wouldn't call me a nerd. I'm more of a geek, if anything. Then again, there's really not a difference. All right. That's good for today. Oh, but... Something I want to talk to you about. Yeah? It's about the secret suit I mentioned before. There's more to it than me having been in the Yakuza. I just want to make sure you don't go saying something stupid if you run into Kaoru around here. Alright, that's fair. Back when I was working with the Hashiba clan, some crazy lady came around the office. Must have been over ten years ago. Uh, she had this baby with her. And the whole time she was there, she kept going on about how she wanted to sell it. Oh my god. Figured she was just some cracked up junkie. Looking for drug money. Uh, but when I told her no, she sat the baby down and ran off. My god. That baby was Kaoru. <laughs> Thinking back on it, I'm still not really sure why I took him in. Well, it's because you're a good guy, duh. Not only did I have to leave the clan, now I'm stuck running this shop I don't even like. <laughs> Every day's an uphill battle. I still haven't managed to tell Kaoru. I was in the Yakuza, though. What the? I mean, why not? He's gonna figure out eventually, right? Maybe not. Let me ask you something. How would you feel if you found out your parents are wrapped up in some dirty stuff? Uh... Good question. That's how my mom was. She spent every night out drinking, running around town with all sorts of guys. Couldn't stand to see her destroy herself like that. Often I'd wish I could have had someone else as my mom. Dang. So I don't want to make Kaoru go through the same thing. I wanted to make sure he had a good childhood. That's actually kind of noble. Wow. That's why I left the clan. I did everything according to the code. Now Suit has tracked me back. Once he remembered I ran this fake gun shop, he came by asking to make some custom models for him. <sighs> Though he wasn't really asking. He forced me into it by threatening to tell Kaoru everything. Dude, that's effed up. Truth is, Suit has got all sorts of dirt. Not just on what happened when Kaoru was a baby. But on me and the rest of my family, too. Jeez, you're getting blackmailed. Who knows what happened if Kaoru learned the truth. Suda ain't gonna stop there, though. I'm sure he'd go on and tell everyone else he could. When it's all said and done, he's gonna try and take everything I have. Oh, crap. How do we, Shit. How do we stop him? Word gets out about my past. People are gonna treat Kaoru like he's no different than me. After all, everyone knows cruddy parents end up making cruddy kids. And once he's got that stigma, I'll be stuck with it. And when things go south, he'll always be the one who gets blamed. Dang, he really cares about his son. And that's how it was with me. That's why I turned to the Yakuza. Nobody else would accept me. <sighs> that's also why I can't turn Suda down. <sighs> He's got too much power, kid. 
Come on, man. You gotta do something. God, I would not say this was face, but you're pathetic. <laughs> you got that right, kid. I bet Kairu's sick of having a weak dad like me, huh? I want to say all that. Anyway, I was trying to stall Suda with BS prototypes. I figured out a way to stop him. But he's real good at keeping his cards close to his chest. Plus, he caught wind of what I was trying to do and started keeping tabs on me 24-7. Does that include me? Oh my god. Thankfully, that's just about when you showed up, kid. Oh, okay. Sorry. Cool, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for bringing all that BS up out of the blue. Uh, you probably don't want anything to do with me after that, huh? Well, it is a confidant after all. We did make a deal. So how about you, you know, reward me? <laughs> Man, you're seriously into this enthusiast stuff, huh? All right. Just remembered I never gave you a reward for that info. Uh, you're right. How about I give you a discount on the special menu? That should keep you quiet for a while. You don't have to. You don't have to bribe me, bro. I'm just saying, pay me. Pretty good deal. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, I don't know if you've read this manga, but I hear about the way of the house husband. I get a lot of vibes from All EY, right. it's pretty funny. Recommend you check it out, but uh... I'm sensing some parallels between EY and that character, that's all I'll say. Dang, it's late. Should be getting home. kairu has been eating a ton lately. After cram school. He's probably gonna have another growth spurt soon. <laughs> Anyway, I'm closing up for today. You should head home, too. All right. Wow. So EY is not in the child selling business. It was actually just a giant misunderstanding. Deep down, I think he is a good guy. Later. Despite all the crime stuff, but... Eh, it's complicated, I guess. As we go home... Oh my god, no way! He calls us! Hey. Sorry about earlier. Didn't mean to get talking about the heavy stuff. No, that's fine. Never mind. I gotta protect that secret, no matter what. For Calvary's sake. Yeah, you're right, but... Don't do anything too drastic, okay? Yeah, I'll do whatever it takes. No, I just... What the... I guess that's why I brought it all up, huh? Whatever, man. <laughs> right now, I still don't know what Suda's next move's gonna be. We gotta stay on guard 24-7. Don't wanna get killed in your sleep, right? Oh my god! Uh... Alright, see you later. I hope he was joking. But something tells me he wasn't. I guess I gotta be on guard as we enjoy our vacation. Jesus Christ. Utaba will be in your care today. Make sure you don't let any dudes try to hit on her. Don't do anything that'll make you stand out, moron. Just act with your brains, okay? Hey, can we go already? Are you sure you'll be alright? It's just a day trip! Don't underestimate me! Uh, right. Uh, sorry. Guess I just have to let it go. Have fun, but be careful, you two. Nothing perfect. 
perfect about that. <sighs> Stay still for a second. You'll be just fine. <laughs> <sighs> people here. Are you okay, Futaba? I'm fine. You guys are here. It's almost lunchtime. No! The squid's staring at me! It's cooked, so don't worry. Would you even eat squid if I'm not around? Why don't we eat lunch, too? I'll go get some stuff for us, then. You're eating that even here? My staple food. This should be a familiar flavor. Yet how does it taste so good? What's up, Makoto? You ain't eating much. Uh, oh, um... Not feeling well or something? You just don't get it, do you, Ryuji? When a girl's in a swimsuit, she wants to look as slim as possible. Still, you're worrying too much. Did you make sure to eat breakfast? Mona lacks tact. So, what do we do now? Should we play some beach volleyball? Oh, sorry. Us girls already made plans to ride a banana boat. We could only rent a three-person one. Sorry. Wait, then what about us? Keep an eye on our stuff. <laughs> Hell no! Why do you gotta treat us like that? We're celebrities making headlines. You should treat us better. I do think they're not bad in the metaverse, but in reality... Strange, isn't it? <sighs> they can steal treasures, but they don't seem like they can steal a girl's heart at all. But... Lady On... Can we get to the banana boat already? Oh, sorry! We'll go now! We'll switch when we're done! Keep an eye on our stuff for us! I don't get how amazing we are. We risk our lives being phantom thieves. There's no way we're the same as other guys around here. Shouldn't we be having more good times in reality, too? We're special, man. Don't you agree, Yusuke? Well, if you put it that way, you may be right. An and the others don't get it because they're always around us. Hey, how do we get Lady On to notice how amazing we are as phantom thieves? Well, we gotta steal... you know what. That's our job in the metaverse! What we're gonna steal in reality are girls' hearts. I see. I just need to prove my skills in reality as well. Let's steal all the hearts with the skills we've honed as Phantom Thieves. I'm sure girls will be all over us considering the vibes we give off. Very well, let's do this. Pulling off our work in reality doesn't sound bad. It's settled then. So, Mona, you're in charge of watching over our stuff, okay? Huh? All right, let's hurry up and go. Hey, what the hell? Get back here! Don't leave me behind! All right, Operation Bay Punt V3. Hey, ladies, want to go swimming? No, you're you're busy. Okay, sorry. Uh, hey, have a, hey, love the pigtails. You, you're with somebody? Oh, oh, my, my bad. Yeah, no, we're 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 going. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Jesus, that's awkward. That's a grown woman. You, come on, boys, don't. No. You going she gonna get in trouble so you see what you guys <laughs> Well that sucked. A lie. <sighs> I don't know. 
The ocean just looks kind of bland to me. Don't say that like I'm the only one who messed up. We were going at it as a team, right? Hmm. Did someone follow us here? Something tells me we're being watched. Really? Oh. You think one of those girls changed her mind? OMG, it's the golden boy himself! <gasps> and he's already got his own little entourage. <laughs> we really did teach him right, didn't we? You? Oh no. What are you guys doing here? <laughs> Sometimes we just gotta get out of the city, forget the nightlife, breathe fresh air, enjoy some eye candy. We thought we lost our protege. Who would have guessed our vacay was actually the call of fate? Oh, what's with the look? Don't believe in fate? Or did you really not have fun last time? You gonna tell us you saw yourself in all that chiffon and felt nothing? Uh, I don't think I, I felt what you guys were hoping. Oh, honey, I get it. Everyone's nervous when they first start out. But trust me, you'll make their jaws drop. <laughs> Just an hour at the vanity, three hours at the boutique, and we can just pick up where we left off last time. So, are you ready to steal some hearts? Uh, we gotta go, sorry! Was it something I said? Oh, what a tragedy. Another starlet slips through our fingers. No, no more makeovers. By the way, where's Yusuke? So this is where you two were. I've been searching for you. Uh, what are you doing with those lobsters? While you were busy with your interrogation, I found these beautiful specimens on sale. And so I decided to spend the last of my money on them. Man, you're real hopeless when it comes to cash. Wait, you were watching us? Why didn't you help? Apologies, but I was entranced. The moment I set eyes on this distinct shape, I was in love. I haven't had my very core shaken as vigorously as this since the first time On entered my gaze. Good for you. We're here with friends. Come on, don't lie to us, baby. How about you come for a nice cruise on our boat? There's going to be a party, too. Tons of celebrities and industry people will be coming along. Are you even listening to us? Sorry about the wait. Huh, so you were serious about being here with friends. That's what we've been saying from the start. Don't you find it boring spending your time with kids like them? It's far more interesting than anything involving you two. What was that? Hey, let's just let the children have fun with fellow children. We'll be going now. What creeps? Thanks for coming in like that. Those guys just wouldn't stop pestering us. What do you mean? If things had gone bad, you would have just sent them to the hospital. Uh, <laughs> never mind. It's nothing. By the way, where are Futaba and Morgana? Ooh, are those lobsters? One in each hand! I was wondering about that myself. Are you going to make them into sashimi? Or perhaps roast them whole? Enough of your vile postulations. These are purely for the sake of visual appreciation. We did tons of stuff today. All in all, I guess coming to the beach was pretty worth it. probably start heading home. Agreed. Let's pack up. Futaba seemed fine in the crowd, too. So it looks like she's overcome her last exercise. Hey, Futaba! We're going home! Stop standing around and help us!
You know? All this time, I thought that it was my fault that my mom died. Uh-huh. It's because everyone said that I killed her. Everyone looked at me thinking I was a murderer. I ended up hating this world. That's why I shut myself in and covered my ears. I wished... I wished my mom would come back to life. Sometimes I'd wake up and think it was all a dream. But nothing had changed in the world. That's why I'd sleep again. It'd be a repeat of that. <sighs> I loved my mom. I wanted to become like her. How she'd work late into the night. How she'd wake up early and make me a boxed lunch every day. How she'd do her best to further her research. How she'd scold me for peeking at her notes. It was cognitive science, wasn't it? The cognitive world can become distorted through desires. If it becomes distorted, a person begins exhibiting problematic behavior in reality. That cognitive world disappears when you remove its core, and further problematic actions stop. Isn't that about palaces? That's the metaverse! She knew about that? It made no sense back then. But now I understand, after it actually happened to me. All I thought about was my mom. I was trapped in a cognitive labyrinth. I couldn't get out of it. There was nothing I could do by myself. That's why you asked us to steal your heart? That's a huge jump in logic in so many ways. At first, I didn't believe the rumors about the Phantom Thieves, that they steal hearts. But I overheard you accidentally. I learned that you were near me. Overheard? Ah, the bug. So, why were you listening in on LeBlanc in the first place? I had to keep an eye on Sojiro, make sure he was actually working. Talk about an awful hobby. You talked about stealing hearts. When I heard that, I was so happy I jumped up and down. I thought, maybe the Phantom Thieves could cure my heart. You could have just told us from the start. You might have been wary of me if I asked out of nowhere. And besides, you could have been bad guys. That's why I cautiously got in contact with you. I checked many times to see how you'd react. Yes. You had us twisted around your little finger. But Futaba, you didn't talk to anyone besides Boss for a long time, right? You must have needed a lot of courage to contact the Phantom Thieves. There were two reasons for it. One was Mejed's taunt. The Phantom Thieves were so pitiful it frustrated me. I would have been in trouble if they got disbanded too. Indeed. You were our only hope. The other was what I heard through wiretapping LeBlanc. Sojiro was being blamed with lies, like abusing me. He was being threatened to spill everything about my mom. Talk about making shit up. <sighs> It made me sad, and it hurt. I thought, I have to save Sojiro. I gotta do something. So that's why. But the Phantom Thieves, I didn't think you guys would be taking such risks for me. I didn't think you'd worry about me so much. I'm sorry that I acted like I doubted you guys. Do you believe in us now? Yeah, I can tell. You aren't bad guys. That's why I have a request. Let me join your team. There's nothing to join. You're already one of us. I'll be honest. Changing people's hearts isn't my goal. I want to learn what happened to my mom. The reason why she was killed. Killed? It was written in her notes. Should the self in the cognitive world die, the self in the real world would lose consciousness. Is this about mental shutdowns? Then... The criminal that Kaneshiro mentioned. Yes. That could be the case. I don't like pursuing this line of thought. But perhaps your mother's shadow was... I don't know for sure. But right before my mom died, she didn't seem right. In what way? No matter how much I talked to her, she wouldn't answer back. And she didn't jump into the road, it was more like she collapsed and fell in. That's why I thought what was written in the notes was real, and looked into it. I read books, checked theses that were released online. 
I even snuck into the networks of various research labs to look at their classified data. That's why you're good at hacking. What kind of brain do you have? But I didn't figure anything out. My mom's research was nowhere to be found. She was killed by someone, and her research was treated like it never existed. I bet it's them. Those adults in the black suits who read the fake suicide note. I'll never forgive them. Futaba. If I stay with you guys, I think I can find out more about that world. Then eventually, it might even lead to those men in black. It's a super personal reason why I want to join you. Is that okay? Or would I just be dead weight? If anything, you're dependable. Ain't that right, Mona? Why are you looking at me? Are you trying to say I'm inadequate? Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! This is what our Phantom Thieves are like. <laughs> but I hope we get along, Futaba. Thanks. Let's leave those two be. Why don't we lose no time and decide on Futaba's codename? What's that? It's not cool if we called each other by our real names. Joker, Skull, Mona, Panther, Queen, and I'm Fox. In Futaba's case... Hacker wouldn't be right, would it? Mech? PC? No. Why don't we go literal and call her goggles? Super lame. You've got no taste, kitty. <laughs> In your face. Do you have any good ideas for Futaba's codename? Too simple. What would you want it to be, Futaba? Hmm. Oracle. With my vision, I'll guide you all to victory. Sounds great! Futaba will be Oracle. But man, I never even dreamed that the rumored Phantom Thieves would be so close. Same goes to you. To think you'd be the daughter of a Metaverse researcher. Talk about a mysterious fate. Should we get going then? Yep, let's go home. Yes. The incident with Medjet seems to have been more effective than predicted. This should spur the Phantom Thieves' support even more now. I agree. There are effective ways to use the Phantom Thieves. Now would be the best time to dispose of unnecessary trash. Whether they're connected to us or not. I don't know about you, I had some fun. You're back. Not a go, Futaba. Here you've been keeping her company for the past few days. Thanks. I mean, she's been hanging out with us too. It's a two-way street, you don't gotta thank me. <laughs> a criminal who uses the metaverse to carry out their crimes? <gasps> this is no longer a matter we can ignore. Yeah, that too. Especially cause they might be the one who killed Futaba's mom, so. To be honest, I considered the idea that they might be behind only the rumored psychotic breakdowns, but now it appears as though a person is killing people as well. Technically, they're making people have mental shutdowns, which then cause them to die, but that's what happens when you kill someone's shadow, yeah? Mm-hmm. We were worried about it back with Kamoshida and Madarame, remember? Oh, yeah. Psychotic breakdowns and mental shutdowns. It would make sense if the same person was behind them. The news never talks about the victims dying, so people only know about the breakdowns. Yeah. So this stuff's a serious case! If that's for real, whoever's doing some kind of assassin? I'm gonna beat the crap out of him. Let me in! I would suggest we be more cautious going forward as well. Yeah. We still don't know much even about our metaverse nav. That is true. I wonder why this thing exists. Well, uh, plot convenience, but also there's this guy with a nose. A, a dream? You still half asleep, dude? Kinda. 
I wonder if that criminal is using the app too. Utaba, it seems like your area of expertise. Do you know anything about it? Mm, nope. Never heard of it before. <laughs> I mean, it's not even a real app, so... It's more like a mysterious app-like thing? I, I see. It's okay, though. I might not know much about the nav, but I can still navigate you guys on the path to victory. Yeah. <laughs> I'll guide you to whatever criminal you're looking for. <laughs> you can't rely on me. Awesome, dude. You're way more reliable than Mona. Damn it, Ryuji. You always find the worst possible things to say. Yeah, just ignore him, man. I don't know why he's acting this way. It's kind of silly. Hey, you live in Yongin, right? You know about the old movie theater? There's an old movie theater? Well, the old couple that runs it apparently is getting threatened by land speculators. They're trying to say the theater's in the way of some building they want to put up. We can't just let them force those people out, right? Yeah, that's kind of sucky. Crap happens all the time. If only we could do something. Right? That old couple's so afraid of the threats, they don't even want to open their theater. Dude. Anyway, our target's a guy named Yasuo Yochi. Let's drive him off and save that old couple. Yeah! Mm. There might be a new change in the Mementos because the Mad Jet stuff just saying. If you want to go, now be the right time. Let's discuss with everybody. Oh, come on, my God. I don't want to... Soon. Soon, but maybe next month. <laughs> Technically, the new month already started. Everybody will talk about stuff differently now that the heat wave is over. Let's go see the sink of the theater, bro. I don't know if you guys have even noticed it. This is what Mishima was talking about. Yeah. So we'll get in front talking to him. Anyway, now that we're done with that bullcrap, let's go get a boost. Tonight, we're doing EY, like always. Don't know if I mentioned that before. Hoping I didn't repeat myself. <laughs> now we're going to see what Hifumi's up to. If you don't get a prompt to continue the confidant, it's okay. Next time, you should be um, fine. But I'm going to Los Angeles for a school trip soon. Uh, we're going to the beach, so I bought a bikini. But dressing like that in front of people... I'm oh, sorry for bringing up such a personal topic. I read bikini instead of swimsuit. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I'm not in the mood for jokey today. Wha- Huh? Could you join me for a walk? Oh, yeah, we can do that. But, like, can we play after? <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I was thinking of going to the area around the Sky Tree today. Dang, I've been there. Sounds like fun. Let's head on over. Sure thing. So if you get this prompt, you're good. Don't worry, Actually, it'll be fine. And this is it. The digital version of the weekly magazine. Why'd you show this to me? My father's deteriorating health. And that he's bedridden. The fact that my mother primarily supports us. <sighs> they even reported that my mother works at a nightclub. Uh, why is that relevant to you? Which is not untrue, but it, was it really necessary for them to write all of this? No, it's really not. Capitalizing on a family's private matter is just cruel. My family's troubles have nothing to do with my skills as a shogi player. You're right. My mother was furious when she read the article. She said it'll hurt her career, and that she'll never forgive whoever wrote it. My father didn't say anything. He just sat there listening to her. God dang, why does this have to happen? But he looked troubled. <sighs> My mother told me that be able to easily quell these rumors if I were to become more famous. So now she's even more insistent on having me do more TV and magazine interviews than before. God, but have you told her you don't want to do those? That like, that's annoying. What the crud? Uh, yes. Although I can't express that to my mother. She's so happy for me. Hafumi, you gotta talk to your mom how you feel. Come on. Um... I always believed that if I worked hard as a shogi player, I'd be able to support us. But I never expected such a destructive article would be written about me and my family. Honestly, nothing good will come from being treated like an idol. People say I'm all looks and no skills. 
They're annoyed I'm in the press all the time. Well, we know that ain't true. What the... Terrible things have been said about me, suggesting I would do anything to become popular. I'm even starting to be shunned in the shogi world. That's why my senior acted that way towards me. Dang. Um, you just want to play this? Mm. The real reason I practice the church is that no one wants to play with me. Oh my god, I'm actually going to cry. My father used to practice with me from his sickbed, but his illness has made that impossible. Maybe I should stop playing shogi and just get a job. That way my family won't get hurt again. God damn, F these nerds, Hafumi! Do what you love! Screw the haters! Can't quit shogi. D do what I love? I love shogi. I don't want to quit. <laughs> yes, you're right. You understand my true feelings. And at the end of the day, I love Shogi. I'd never be able to give it up. There you go. I am just confused because of that article and how my senior treated me. However, I think I can see my next move. Thanks to you. Oh, come on. You're helping me realize a lot about myself outside of Shogi. I mean... Yeah, I guess I am. <laughs> like, like, seriously. Joker in this confidant is like Hafumi's. Right. I don't know. I guess everyone kind of confides in him, but I feel like he's putting out pretty good advice. At least I am. Let's return to the church and play a match. Heck yeah! The article has left me somewhat irritated. I'm going to use my secret move, the Eternal Abyss Yagura Gate, and turn the board into hell. Uh, maybe not in the church. Would you care to pace me in a match? I'll try. Mm. Can we set it, set it just for normal battlefield for me? I'm kind of scared. But no, I mean, come on, you can't Until quit. Time. She could, she can go pro. F these articles. Once she's on top of the shogi scene, they can't say crap about her. That'll be sooner than I think, actually. Hello, this is Afumi. Thank you so much for accompanying me today. I needed the distraction. Trying to solve this on my own, I felt caught in a vicious cycle. But you help me find a new path. You might make a fine priest yourself, considering how good a listener you are, I mean. <laughs> Vumi? What? Me, a holy man? Come on. But, uh, no. <laughs> Not me. Really? I thought I felt a hidden potential brewing within you. Well, I'm flattered. You really are a strange individual. Oh, but, hey, who's talking? I was supposed to be your teacher. But somehow, the tables have turned. I'm the one learning from you. I would love to keep learning from you. Hey, same. Well then, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you at church. Alright, Afumi. Hope you feel better. Really. Oh, hey! Uh, I know this is out of the blue, but, uh... Like, could we all meet up at LeBlanc tomorrow? August is almost over already. That worried tone. Could he still have summer vacation homework left to do? Was that Morgana? Whoa, how did he know? I actually called it. Anyway, I I've already hit up Makoto and the others. I'll be counting on you to get me through this tomorrow. You gotta be kidding. Might as well get some sleep while we can. to be human I should be if we get rid of the distortion in the depths of mementos I'm sure I'm sure it'll all be fine sorry did I wake you up oh um my sunburns were hurting and that woke me up I was absorbing all the sunlight because I'm black don't you get it Oh, um, I'm not 
not sure what to do when you give me an honestly concerned response like that. By the way, it's not like I'm bothered by this or anything, but hypothetically speaking, okay? What would you do if I turned out to be some weird... thing? I'd be bothered by it! If what I saw from earlier is true, is it okay for me to stay with the Phantom Thieves? And even if I'm with the team, I'm useless at the moment. It's nothing. Well, I've gotten pretty used to my life as a cat, too. And to be frank, this storage room isn't bad either. Then again, I can't wait to turn back to being a human so I can move out. Maybe I'll live a life of luxury in a suite on the highest floor. Hmm. But rather than becoming some weird thing, maybe staying as a cat isn't so bad either. You and me made a deal, yeah? That means I can stay here. Isn't that right? Thought so. Don't forget what you just said, okay? up and get to sleep. Night. It'll be fine, right? Oh, I'm done. As for me, I'm done for. Talk about a cliched way to end your summer vacation. I can't believe you hadn't even touched your homework until last night. Well, everyone's free to spend their time as they choose. I guess some people just can't help themselves. I'm sorry. Come on, I think he's learned his lesson. More importantly, why don't you folks take a break? Boss! Oh, you're a lifesaver. I'm gonna go pick up some groceries. Mind the shop for a bit. The sports club has aggressively applied kinesthesiology to the team's practices. By incorporating their lab's findings on human efficiency into the training regimen, they have developed a... Oh, that reminds me. Isn't there a female athlete from our own school who's made the news? An athlete? Oh, do you mean the one in gymnastics? Yeah, her! The one everyone's saying is super cute. Oh yeah, Yoshizawa, right? Wasn't she gonna be in the summer meet? Or is that already over? Ah, about that. Makoto? Well, I just happened to overhear a couple teachers discussing it when I was heading to school the other day. Yoshizawa-san's results in the meet? They weren't exactly stellar. I see. There seemed to have been a great many people expecting her success there. It's gotta be tough for her. Yeah. Ain't there one more meet left this year in gymnastics, though? Shit must be rough right now. But if she can nail that one, who cares what anybody at school says? Oh, that also reminds me. So, I just so happened to bump into Mishima-kun before summer vacation started. And? He seemed really mad. I asked him what was wrong, and he showed me some posts on an underground site about our school. It pretty much said the school's planning to abandon any honor student who isn't actively making Shujin look better. Whoa, wait a sec. There was no name, and it sounded like just another rumor at first. But could this be about Yoshizawa-san? Who knows? Still, ever since the case with Kamoshida, the school's been frantically trying to improve its public image, right? At the very least, this abandonment of honor students would fall in line with the school's real mission. I can't deny the possibility that they would do this to Yoshizawa-san. They dump all their hopes onto their athletes, and if they don't cut the mustard, they're out like the rest of the trash, huh? Regardless of whether it's true or not, such behavior is extremely self-serving. 
Just like we thought this whole time. There's still tons of shit wrong with society. Yeah. We don't know what'll happen to Yoshizawa's spot on the team. But at the very least, we can keep up our efforts to prevent the worst case scenario. Next up, our spotlights on a topic everyone's talking about, the Phantom Thieves incidents. The Phantom Thieves shocked the world by silencing a globally notorious hacktivist group. Their popularity goes beyond our own borders, with foreign media following them closely as well. Many are heralding them as dark heroes and gentlemen thieves for a new age. Whoa, this is getting pretty crazy. So the whole world really knows about us. Ugh. Enough already, God! All anyone talks about is the Phantom Thieves. Who they are, whether they're good or bad. Starting to give me a headache. Dang, boy, you too? Shoot, <laughs> I kind of agree. It's a lot. So, the more famous we get, the more mementos opens, yeah? I can't get that out of my head. And that's why you couldn't focus on your homework until today, right? Yeah, exactly! Sounds like an excuse to me. Still, I've been wondering about that too. I wonder why it works like that. Hmm. Does Morgana know anything? I don't know. I don't even remember how I first learned about Mementos. Uh, he says he doesn't effing know. Sorry. <laughs> I see. There's no way for us to find out. It will likely become clear if we continue as the Phantom Thieves. Yeah. The most important thing now is the identity of that criminal using the metaverse. Yeah, that should be our next goal. That might be the person who killed my mom. I'm going to find them, no matter what it takes. Heck yeah. You know, we used to be lacking in quite a few areas. But now that we have Futaba helping us, a great number of possibilities are now available. Yeah, you're right. Yes. We gained a fantastic addition to our team, in the most unexpected manner. Aww, you're making me blush. <laughs> we'll be counting on you, Futaba. This feels way better than having some dumb cat guide us. <sighs> Morgana, don't be upset. It's Ryuji, how can he call anybody dumb? Good luck, <laughs> okay, I'll stop, but. Thanks for watching this episode, guys. The beach trip is Kind of nostalgic, and good lord, I hope I don't forget the crossword puzzle in between episodes. That'll be a nightmare, but yeah. Futaba's a part of the team. Summer vacation's almost over, which in real life sucks, and Persona is very good. So now we get to see our school friends again. You know, go back to class, see what Kawakami's up to, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, next time in Persona 5 Royal, we try to find who is causing these mental shutdowns. And other stuff. So see you guys then. Bye.